Pirates hosting the Brewers. The Brewers are minus 122 on the money line. The Pirates are plus 102. The over-under is eight runs. The Brewers laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 136, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two or more. And the Pirates getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 162, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. It's supposed to be 71 degrees with three mile an hour winds blowing out and a 9% chance of rain in Pittsburgh tomorrow. Savelle has pitched twice against the Pirates this year, once as a Brewer and once as a Ray. Six and a third, one run, one earn. They lost one nothing. He struck out six. That was as a Brewer. And then five innings, one run, one earn. They won 3-1. That was in Milwaukee. He struck out three. That was as a Ray. Keller has pitched twice against the Brewers this year. Six shutout innings. They won 8 nothing, And that was in Milwaukee. He struck out seven. Five innings, four runs, four earned. They lost 7-5. He struck out seven. Heads ahead, the Brewers are 6-4. and four. The road team 6-4. and four. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line, while the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 6-4. and four. There have been four one-run games in their last 10, including the one they played against each other today. The over is 6-4, and four, and the over 8 is 6-4. and four. The Brewers are 3-2 and two in Savelle's last five starts, five and a third innings pitched, 4.2 hits, 1.8 earned runs, 4.8 strikeouts, 1.4 walks, one home run per game. He's given up a home run in four consecutive starts, and he gave up two home runs in his last start. 86 pitches per game, 16.5 pitches per inning. When we flip it over to Keller, they're 0-5 in his last five starts, and he's just like streaky. When he's on, he's tough to hit, and then when he's off, they hit him well. Four and two thirds, seven point two hits, four point two runs, three point eight of which were earned, five point two strikeouts, one point six walks, one point two home runs. He's given up home runs in back to back starts, and he also gave up two home runs in his last start. Eighty nine point eight pitches per game, nineteen point two pitches per inning. The Brewers are four and six in their last ten, two and two in their last four, five runs, nineteen runs, nine runs, three runs, shutout in a loss, ten runs in a win, seven runs in a win, one run in a loss, and for the Pirates. Two and two in their last four. Eight runs, two runs, nine runs, three runs. One run and a loss, and then three consecutive games where they scored two runs. Two runs and a win, two runs and a loss, two runs and a win. I'm going to take the Brewers with the money line. I will take the Brewers laying the runs. I'm going under. The only way I see this game going over is if Keller gets lit up, but we'll see. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.